All right, this should be the last little part of this uh, steady rest rebuild. So I'm working on the bottom clamp, and this was the original clamp that was on it. I went ahead and powder coated it up with the intention of using it, but it's just a torch cut welded up. You know, it looks like a piece of quarter inch and a piece of oh three eighths. It looks like half inch uh, welded together, and uh, like I say, it was torch cut all the way around. Um, torch cut through the center is pretty ugly and this is pretty standard of the style of clamps that are used on most of these steady rests and uh, you know apparently somebody lost the, the original for this on there but the way it went on is you would just set it in you know clamp them together and this flopped around so you could loosen the bolt enough slide it down in and get it hooked underneath the, the uh, little ledge on the on the inside lips of the lathe so I don't like that style this one was pretty ugly to start with so we needed to rebuild it anyway so what I'm going to do is I've kind of copied the same design that I've got on the other steady rest that I built for this lathe since when I got my original lathe it didn't have one. So I'm just taking a piece of 3 quarter by 2 flat, just a piece of hot roll probably, and um, I've already laid it out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a half inch hole right through the center and then on the back side it'll be counterboard to accept the, the uh, head of that half inch bolt and it'll be a grade 8 half inch bolt that we'll put in there. And then I'm going to shave the edges down 3 8 inch on both sides. And once I make sure that fits into the into the bed of the lathe so it clamps up right and got clearance, why then we're going to rotate the vise and we're going to mill down the outer edges of this. So what happens is it sets solid basically on the or parallel to the base of the steady rest. You set it down between the lathe uh, between the bed of the lathe and then it rotates sideways and locks up in there and then you just tighten it up so as you tighten up why it's gonna lock in there um, and then to take it off all you gotta do is loosen your nut rotates back out of the way and you can lift steady rest state straight up so that's what we're gonna do It's pretty straightforward pretty simple but uh, I like the design a little bit better so
Okay, I'm going to lightly deburr this and just take it over and make sure it's going to fit through the tailstock. I'm um, assuming we've got that right while we're just going to rotate it to our angles here and we'll start cutting the ends off so it'll rotate in. So we're just going to bob the corner off, we're going to raise it back up to 3 eighths of an inch deep, we're going to move over 3 eighths of an inch and we're going to shave our little pocket there. Hopefully we've got everything right there. So that looks pretty good right there. All right, well, let's take it over to the lathe and see if it's going to fit. Well, here's our piece. Now we'll still clean it up. We'll sandblast it. We'll shave it off. I don't know what we're going to do. I think we're going to blue it, so we'll probably shave it off. Although, I don't know. We may powder coat it. We don't know what we're doing. Anyway, this is our base. The bolt will come up through the bottom. And what I'll do after we make sure everything fits is I'll go back and I'll pocket this. And it's not going to be real important that I pocket. I may just drill a or countersink a hole uh, big enough to accept that or almost accept that and do a press fit in. We can tack weld it in, whatever. It's never going to move after that, assuming everything's right. It will slide in here just like this. We can set it down into the lathe bed and it rotates into place just like that. We tighten our nut down on top and there we've got it. So that's going to uh, work just fine. Yeah, and it should be universal. We should be able to get it to to uh, lock in from either way if we don't. If we can't, why, we'll relieve one side a little bit. But both sides look like they set in there quite nicely. So, yeah, that's a good fit. So, okay, so now we know we've got that dimension right. We can go back, and like I say, when we loosen it, why, it just rotates out. And we'll go back radius all these edges so we don't have any sharp edges or anything we want to operate smoothly. Once that's countersunk to store it, there again we've got a flat bottom it can just sit on a shelf any place. So good option, I like it better than the, better than the factory setup. Well, I think I just dropped the footage of me milling out that pocket, and I just milled it by hand. It's not perfect. All I want to do is recess that, uh, that bolt head down in there so it's flush. And there we faced it off. We're going to face off the other side. The edges, we're going to hand finish on the belt sander. We're not going to get too excited about it.
We're going to take it over to the belt sander, just smooth it up a little bit, and then we'll decide how we're going to finish it out. All right, here's our part pretty well deburred and uh, cleaned up pretty well. I think it's about as cleaned up as I'm going to get it. Now I've got my bolt in there. I ground it so it fits down in and I'm just going to hit it with a TIG weld right there just to stop any possibility of it of it coming out of there. But we're below flush there so that will, uh, that will allow it to sit flat, the whole assembly, if we're setting it on a shelf. Otherwise with something like this with the carriage bolt in the bottom why it sit there and rock and fall over and everything. So. We're just going to, uh, like I say, apply a tack right there. And I think we'll probably go ahead and powder coat it just because it's quick and easy. Um, so we'll get this done, then we'll take it out and sandblast it real quick and throw some powder coat on it, and this project will be done. All right, well, here's our plate sandblasted, ready to be powder coated. Now on the back of this, I ground this bolt head so it was set down in or below flush here. And then I've tack welded it here with the TIG welder. Now I do have some penetration onto that bolt head but I really don't care all I wanted to do was fill in this space here just so if the bolt was loose and floated in there why it wouldn't fall out and that's been perfectly well accomplished so we're just going to take powder coat it and um, go ahead and get it baked and then we'll do the final assembly on this well when I compare the old to the new I think I kind of like the new a little bit better looks a little bit better I think it'll perform a little bit better so assembly is really simple Goes onto the bottom, flat washer, and then that. And I use grade eight hardware on everything, so I don't have to worry about it for worry about them stripping nuts, stripping bolts, anything like that. These will last virtually indefinitely. So let's take it over the lathe and take a look at it installed. So rather than fishing the piece down and through and trying to get it thing set up, all you do is set them on there, like that, rotate it around, tighten your nut down, and it'll take a little bit to get everything seated in place and figure out how it's going to seat in, but there we go. Taking it off is just as easy. Loosen your bolt, it'll drop clear. Rotate it out of the way and pull her off. And it should work either way. I think we've got enough clearance. Tighten her down there. There we go. So that's how I do uh, do brackets for mounting stuff underneath if I can. You know, you can't do it with everything, but on stuff like a steady rest, it's quick and easy. Off and on. Hopefully that's something you can utilize if you feel it's worth doing. So, all right, for those of you that are still sticking with me through all this, I appreciate it. And here's a little teaser for you that have uh, seen some of my foundry stuff. This is the, the beginnings of the setup for the match plates for the steady rest that we're just finishing up our, our restoration on. So this at some point will be a reproduction. Like I say, we've got the patterns pretty well developed. We've still got to do the final sanding on them and get finish on them and get them mounted to a match plate. But um, they, uh, 
they're going to be a, I think, a pretty good reproduction once we start casting cast iron. So anyway, hopefully you found this a little bit interesting. If you'd like to share these videos, I'd appreciate it. And if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. We've always got uh, some new and different project going on. We do a little bit of everything here. And uh, any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section for me below. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch.